promised you a song and I stayed up all night long while I was trying I had bought a guitar for my oldest son many years back and I decided to follow through with what I always tell my students, don't give up on something the first time you try it. It all comes down to the amount of time you put into it. Um, so I picked up the guitar and dedicated myself to not just learning it, but to learn, learning it to play it well. Well, it's not that, though I wanted to, and it's nothing but when. And then about two years later, I was actually not too bad with the guitar. And I thought, well, what else could I do? You know, if I can play the guitar, why not make a movie? And the, the whole studio thing kind of fell into place. Uh, my name is Major Ron Capes. My rank is Major. I'm a Senior Marine Instructor at Asheville High School's Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. Um, I am the caretaker, owner, producer of Quantum Ascension Studios up here in Irwin, Tennessee, and have been working hard to get it set up to change the world. Good evening. I am Brandon Stockton, and I am reporting from Love Chapel Asylum. The remnants of the sinkhole that you see behind me is the site of one of the town's most tragic and mysterious accidents. In August of 2012, a sinkhole developed right here behind me, uh, approximately 25 feet across and about 125 feet deep. Um, and they quickly filled it in, but they shut down the school. Mom says she saw the kid fall down the hole. She says they used to put a burlap sack over his face and tease him about some kind of deformity. She said before the sinkhole was filled in, they caught up to him and chased him around the edge of it with a burlap sack over his head. He fell in. Mom says he was pushed. The school district uh, auctioned off this 37,000 square foot building and six acres of property nestled in the Appalachian Mountains here. And I was the only one that bid on it, and I got the property, and I have been working diligently here for the last 10 months to turn it in to a full production movie and music studio. After, after spending three months in China uh, and learning martial arts there, uh, Major Capes brought me on to the idea of, while he would be the production guy, he would be filming the projects, I would be the post-production. Uh, editor, I would work on on doing a lot of the special effects and stuff. Uh, hired a director, uh, moved my oldest son up here. We all wear many different hats. So when we are doing the renovations, it's you know the three of us here. Uh, when we're filming, you know we're working the cameras, working the lighting, we're you know doing whatever we need to do. It's a learning curve. The more time we put behind these various things, the more knowledge we'll have and being able to direct others to do the same. Hopes cross. I should hate you so. I can't seem to shake the dream. Somehow you're gonna save our lives. I guess the desire to change the world was to create a, a goal much bigger than myself because um, by making the goal bigger than me, it makes it more important and it makes my trivial aches and pains and my failures irrelevant uh, because you'll keep persisting. In many respects, we all want to be remembered. We want, all want to leave a positive impact on the, on the world. Um, so, so why not, you know, work, do my best, my, try my hardest to change the world for the better? And what would be the best way of doing that, you know? And I, I think it came down to the multimedia. I dreamed about this. It's going to sound weird. I don't quite understand it myself, but I had this dream for the last seven nights. And it's playing out exactly like it did. As I'm trying to teach my students better and understand them better so that I can make them
better people. Um, I guess I wanted to have a way of influencing them. They're, you know, they sit in, in class and, you know, they're very much influenced by what's on the media. They definitely love their music and they love their TV shows and their movies. Um, but the message that is presented to them, I don't think is necessarily what it could be or should be. Big point, you know, that I want to do is, is, is to, to make people of better character. It's the influence that we have or have the capability of reaching, you know, generations to come uh, that's going to have a direct impact on the path that, that the world goes down. I knew at one point I had the cameras, I bought some green screens, and then I had found some lights on an auction site, and I bought those, and 119 of them. These are big lights from the, the New Jersey channel. And then that led to buying a camera crane uh, and 24 feet of track, put it in my basement, and then a mobile production vehicle. And, and I, I realized I would be opening up a studio And intent behind this originally was to come up with a movie called Eight Questions. And those eight questions I wanted to be where if once you saw the movie, you come out changed in a sense. The way I see things is, is when I come up with a plot, a script, an idea, I see it playing out in my mind as I would see it playing out on a movie screen. I want to, to work on my projects and my music, my video productions, full featured films, internet video series. Um, my, my son wants to do that as well with what he's working on. It's been kind of a life searching journey trying to figure out what really interests me. I found that working in the film and animation department was rewarding for me because it could allow me to, to be very creative with it. The possibilities with it are endless. You can create the 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 largest universes with the greatest detail and it doesn't require the the laws of physics in a sense you don't have you're not constrained by real world factors and the resources that go into live action filming uh, you can do a lot more creative things with animation we also want to offer up the facility for uh, i guess people just getting into the film business would allow brilliant things to be produced and you know I see it as being more of a synergistic effect. I don't like the idea of it just being a hey, we rent out our space and people come in here to make movies as that being the, the sole mission because that does not further what I you know want to do as far as influencing this world. The level of commitment and de determination seen by taking action like this by uh, taking a school that could have simply just been bulldozed, taking it and turning into a, a very profitable uh, company and uh, making dozens, hundreds of creative projects and stuff from it and giving that back to the community in, in a way or to people in general showing uh, what we can do. I think that's probably the best part. I told my son because um, I think he was sometimes, you know, gets worried about me working so much. I'm like, you know what happens when you work a 16-hour day? And he's like, what? I'm like, nothing. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't kill you. I want to work. I have no, I can't imagine a life not working. Um, and, then, you know, so I, yeah, I don't want to end up in a pool of everybody else. You know, imagine what it would be like, though, if you were doing something bigger than just a movie. I mean, if the cause was bigger than just a movie, you know, how far would you travel to, to be in something 
bigger than yourself. Not too sure of right and wrong, and I don't even know if I should sing the song, but you know.